Aloha kako. Aloha to you and then to me. Namo Amidabu tsu. But does compassion wisdom to you and then to me. Thank you so much for taking your time to attend this online Sunday service. Thank you so much. We'll begin our service with chanting of Bandana Pistarana.
This is their home. This is their place they stay together. I get to help them no matter what. Heavenly beings, hearing this answer by the tiny birds, they were so impressed. And they, using the power of the heavenly beings, they extinguished the fire. And then forest is now again become peaceful. Living beings now coming back to the forest again and then living a so happy and peaceful situation. So this is a story of the uh, tiny birds and the forest we can find in Buddhism teachings too. So the lesson message is so simple. That is, do what I can do. Do what you can do. Do what we can do. Yeah, these tiny birds here, yeah, one thing this bird wanted to do was to extinguish the fire to save all animals, all living beings. Therefore, no regrets, no just want to save, want to save. That is a wish and then vow. That's the only thing these birds can do. And if we apply this story into our situation now, what is a thing I can do? What is a thing you can do? Yeah, in the hospital, doctors, nurses, they try to do their best, doing their best to cure patients. Then how about me? How about you? What is a thing I can do? One of the things is stay at home then yeah. stay at home and then try to avoid going to outside try to stay at home to help each other so that we can extinguish the situation of the coronavirus so we can try to think about what is the thing i can do now for those yeah, animals in the forest yeah when the fire begin to spread. They were so afraid, so concerned, so feared. They are so panicked. However, when the fire disappeared, they feel so peaceful because of the effort, vow, promise of the tiny birds, they can receive the great peace. Could be at the moment they didn't know these tiny birds working so hard. But thanks to these birds' effort, promise they now receive the peace so we can see there is a something always wishing promise and thinking of them to those who are in fear the tiny birds try to bring a peace in buddhism teaching too amida buddha also promise Buddha said in the chanting of Sambutsuge or hymn of praises of the Buddha in Sambutsuge. Buddha also said, I resolve that when I become a Buddha, I will fulfill this vow in every possible way. And to all beings who live in fear, I will give great peace. So the point is, when Amida Buddha attained Buddhahood, enlightenment, Buddha made a promise, I shall fulfill this vow, which one of them is to bring great peace to all beings who live in fear. Great peace to those people who are in fear. Great peace to fear. Yeah, great peace. Embrace, extinguish the fear. So we can deeply think about that. Amida Buddha made a vow and then promise to save all beings who are in fear. That is exactly me. Under a situation, kind of concern, worries and difficulty, also so inconvenient cannot can cannot we can't go out to shopping center like we used to do before so many difference but due to the order of the stay at home maybe your children get to stay home or your parents spouse get to stay at home 
totally different situation that we may feel oh it's not the way i'm used to doing i cannot do now in that way so yeah, people may feel stressed or so inconvenient and that is a could be moment we may upset and then so much how come it's not the way i want to do and then we may feel oh i'm so patient I'm so not endured. You don't know how much I'm patient. That's true, yeah? that's true. However, like a story, we can, if we can realize, it's not only me who are in fear, concerned. Other person who stays with you also in fear, concerned, worries. We are together may feel concerned, worried, stressed. Yeah, as a human being, yeah, it could be easier to notice how I feel, what I'm going through, easy to know. And then we may often tend to think only my feeling emotions. However, if we can try to see differently, that's true, now I feel in this way. How about you? How about this person's feeling, emotions, concern, worries? I know I'm so patient now, but maybe this person too is so patient with me. If you can see it in that way, oh, this is my life, it's true, but not only my life, we are sharing so many things. And if we can know that, that's right, I'm sharing this place time with you, instead of insisting I want to do in this way or try to think of how you feel. That is a power of compassion, kindness. So therefore, again, we are in a soul of fear and then worries, concerns. But again, like those animals, yeah, their life was not alone. They have uh, this tiny birds, promise and then compassion, thinking of them always. So therefore, they were not alone. Even the situation of difficulty, fire, they were not alone. Always there is an existence wish of tiny birds embracing, accepting their fear, and always there for us. So same as to same as to me, we are going through so many difficulties. If we can realize I'm not alone, there is something, somebody who thinks of me somebody who is worrying about me and then we can feel this is my life it's true my life but not only my life there are people things who are supporting my life thanks to them i'm here today and then amida buddha never tells me don't be panicked don't be concerned don't be worried Instead of saying that, Buddha, what the Buddha tells me is, it's okay. I shall embrace you as you are. When I panic, Buddha also with me. When I so sad, Buddha is with me. When I so concerned, worried, stressed, Buddha is with me. When I feel great peace come to my life, Buddha gives me great peace in my life. Therefore, in the situation of fear, inconvenience, I can receive great peace. Then it doesn't, it doesn't mean then I don't have no more worries or suffering or difficulties. Yeah, I will do, continue. However, even in the situation, I know I'm not alone. But does compassion, wisdom, accepts my life and then embrace me forever, whatever I'm going through. And that is a Buddha's promise to me, to you, to everybody. But the promise, observing the situation of the human being, but the promised, I shall bring great peace to those who are in fear. The one thing what we do is, uh, now we cannot do shake hands, no hugging. Could be we do like a, this is a shaka sign. 
So one of the minister told me, hey, Shakasai has a meaning of the compassion. What is that? So, do you know how to say、uh, this finger in Japanese? This finger is called Oya Yubi. Oya means the parents. So, this is a finger of parents. And this finger is called Ko Yubi. Ko is Kodomo Keiki. So, finger of children. So, the story is here. As you can see, the parents always watching. Loving, worrying, and thinking of their children in this direction. As you can see, children in this way. I don't care, don't worry about me, I'm okay. So it's like myself thinking, I'm living in Hawaii, I'm working, I'm, I think I'm okay. Then, no matter where I am, whatever I'm going through, no matter how old I am, my parents still watching, loving, worrying, thinking of me. No matter what. So, in this situation, we can think I'm not in fear, so stressed, so concerned, feel lonely. I hope the situation is clear. Yeah, that's true, our feeling. And then, those people who feel in that way, therefore, Amina Dutta made vows calling to each of us Don't worry, be happy. I shall embrace you as you are. I shall never. Ever let you go alone. But as promise, I shall bring great peace to you. When I again realize such a compassion is coming to my life, we can take a moment to receive it. That's right. Whatever I'm going through, my life is never ever alone. I can be fear. I feel concerned with Amita b u d d h Amida Buddha's compassion never ever let me go alone forever together. That is a calling voice, Buddha's compassion wisdom to my life. As a conclusion, we do have a chanting of Nen Butsu, expression and assurance I'm in Buddha's embrace, whatever I'm going through. Buddha's promise, great peace into my life. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself and then aloha and then mahalo. Thank you.